This month marks the seventh anniversary of one of the biggest oil spills off our coast, and today law firms representing those impacted say a settlement has been reached. On May 19, 2015, crude oil spilled along the Gaviota coast. They called it the Refugio oil spill. The spill, blamed on a corroded pipe owned by Plains All-American Pipeline, did not have a shutoff valve. The amount spilled has been part of the legal dispute. During the cleanup, Plains said more than 140,000 gallons spilled, but attorneys disputed the figure. Their liquid mechanics expert says 451,000 gallons hit the water. Plains has agreed to pay $230 million in a class action lawsuit. We at uh, Capello and Noel are very happy with this settlement. Our class members, the fishers, the fish industry, the fish processors, all the real property owners and renters along the coast that had oil on their beach from the 2015 Plains oil spill are going to get compensated in this case. Attorney Barry Capello described it as a long, hard fight involving three law firms. Our firm, the Leaf Cabrasier firm, the Keller Rohrbach firm, probably teams of 10 to 12 lawyers, and it was a very hard fought battle, but with the help of two really brilliant mediators and years of mediation, we settled the case just short of the trial, which was gonna go January 2nd. The settlement is almost an environmental bookend to Capello's career. It's an especially satisfying thing for me because I was the lawyer, a young lawyer, at the city attorney's office when the first major oil spill hit Santa Barbara. And as everybody knows, that was the beginning of uh, the environmental movement in this country. We just can't let this happen again. The aftermath of the 2015 spill and the Huntington Beach spill in 2021 sparked fights over the restarting of offshore oil drilling platforms and the transportation of oil along the California coast. And Plains did not respond to our request for a comment. You'll find more information about the settlement on our mobile app and website.